Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop that's not the shop and another CarbCo Quickie. In this Quickie, we're going to show you how you can do an area clearance and leave what's inside a border alone. So let's get on the computer and let's Atlas and I show you how it's done. Okay, so I went ahead and I made this shape on the computer here. Obviously, it's a 90 degree corner with some perfectly shaped objects in the center to create there and to do this simulation with. But let's say you wanted to remove everything around these objects to a certain depth and leave those objects in place standing proud. How do you do that? Let me show you. Very easy. Highlight everything, making everything active. Go over here to this side, choose area clearance. Your start depth will be zero. Your finish depth will be whatever you decide you want those standing proud. Let's do 0.5 in this case. We'll add a tool. Let's go with an eighth inch end mill. We'll select that. We'll scroll down and change to offset. You'll change your speeds and feeds in here to your liking. And safe Z in our case is 0.1, which is typically what I always use. The material thickness is 0.75. And we'll calculate. And as you can see, the tool is going around everything but what is inside of that border. So let's simulate and see if it actually did what I said it's going to do. So we'll simulate the tool path. And you have to turn this just right so that you can see, because in this angle it looks like it's sunk in. But it is not. If you turn it a little bit more, you can see that those are definitely raised and the outside has been removed. Let's go to simulation. Let's change the default to something easier to see. Like, oh, let's go uh, medium oak. One of my favorites. And click apply. Now you can see that those are raised. Let's click on depth of color and see if that helps. A little bit, not much. We don't need depth of color. But you can see that they are definitely raised. So that's how you do it. That's how you remove everything but what's inside of your border with an area clearance. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, I'll catch you on the next quickie.